Guys. Yeah? We're going to do Hello. something fun tonight. We're going to do something different for the dailies. Okay. We're going to play a little game that was from the podcast. We used to do it every week for maybe two weeks. Yep. And um, <laughs> it was a game that I loved that uh, I think we've just been too busy doing everything else to do. So I'm bringing it back around. We're going to play... Bizarre Animal of the Week. Oh, boy. Yeah. It is a fan favorite. Uh, I it like is. it. Peter is really bad at it, but I'm yes. pretty good at it. So let's do it. I've won several times. F, F off. Never. <laughs> okay. So, gentlemen, to paint a picture, okay. this animal, this bizarre animal of the week, <laughs> lives almost its entire life in complete darkness. Now, you guys are starting okay. to think caves. You're thinking underground. You're thinking nocturnal. Yeah. But yeah. wait, there's more. These animals live in colonies of up to 300. Okay. I mean, we could, be, could be dealing with a bat. Um, yep. I'm not sure. sure Possible. Yeah. Okay. So their territories can be as large as six football fields. Okay. It's kind of an odd metric, but so, I'm trying to paint a picture here. <laughs> one, one animal or a colony of 300 would have a territory that big? The a, colony of 300 would have a territory of about six football fields. Okay, so now I'm, I'm not thinking insect anymore. That's too big. It's Definitely too big. not a bat, right? They're, they're covering a lot more than that. Right. Yep. Right. Hmm. Okay. Peter, you're, you're right with there. With, you're, you're with us, right? Well, I mean, I understand English, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> these animals, these bizarre animals of the week, mm -hmm. are you social, which means they have right. workers, soldiers, and a queen. God, this is mm. this is very confusing. Again. I mean, we are, but bees could live in way bigger colonies than that, and they're not in yeah. total darkness all the time. So, hmm. okay, let's continue, okay. shall we? Yeah. This bizarre animal that spends its entire life in almost complete darkness, living in colonies of three hundred, that has a territory at the size of up to six football fields. Yeah, the queen that we mentioned as their use social isn't born a queen. It has to fight its way to the top, she killing gets... all challengers to become the queen of the colony. So she basically gets elected. It's it. just a different way of doing it. Yeah, uh, election by battle. Yeah. And once the queen mm. takes over, stand by now. This is where it gets really fun. She releases a chemical that prevents all other females from going through puberty. So a queen is not born. She has to fight her way to the top. And then she releases the scent chemical that stops other females from reaching puberty, from going through puberty, so that nothing can challenge her for the time I, being. I literally just got chills. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. I don't believe this oh, yeah. is a real thing. This is a real thing. This is the this most up. insane oh, yeah. one it's I've heard. It's a beautiful creature. This too. sounds like a battle royale that we're doing. Like, <laughs> no. that's the power we gave it. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's, it doesn't sound real. This All right. Credible thing has okay. giant teeth that can move independently, they can use them like chopsticks. Big teeth that can move independently. Well, now we're, oh, now we're out of I now we're out I, of insect territory. I think I know what it is. Okay. Well, let's just, just, right. just pump the brakes. Pump All the brakes. Let's get. Right. Well, you could give it a guess actually, because you might be I reinforced. Want, I don't want to ruin it, but I'm I'm thinking naked mole rat. Interesting choice, Peter. Mm -hmm. Any guesses? I, I said, so, I said mole rat was the first thing I said, and I I've I've gone away from it, and now I'm I'm back to it because I can't okay. think of anything else. The, the teeth, like, and, it, and, and yeah. any picture I've seen of a naked mole rat that I can recall, like, they're, uh, they don't have eyes or, like, they're, like, squinting or something. So I know, like, they're blind or <laughs> right. some shit. There, there was a picture that Patrick sent me of you startled in a shower once that looked a lot like <laughs> what did. I described <laughs> what? so far. It was what? pink. Go, G it yeah. was very pink. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. um, How did you get a picture of me in the shower is what I want to know. Uh, so moving forward with what could be a naked mole rat or could be something else. Okay. These animals have the least sensitive pain receptor in the animal kingdom. In the animal kingdom. Wow. No one is even sure if these animals can feel pain at all. So this is, this is very unique. Wow. Of the entire animal it, kingdom, no other, so, no, nobody knows what their pain threshold truly is or if they even feel pain. That's wild. And then she fights her way up. She just kills... Dude, this is bananas. I, this I, is a real thing. Now, let me continue. Yeah. These animals can survive with less than 5% oxygen, which for reference is less than what's at the top of Mount Everest. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. In the dark. They can live up to 30 years. Ooh. And wow. researchers... That might kill my mole rat. Mm. Uh, okay. Researchers have been studying them for a long time because they are immune to cancer. What? 
Yep. Dude, this, this is, is definitely real. the most interesting one. Yeah, this is good. Maybe. It's it's the, good. You, okay, yeah, you ready for uh, the real kicker? Yeah. Let me pick the whole picture. This incredible yeah. animal that lives in colonies of up to 300 mm-hmm. that spends its entire life in darkness that has a territory the size of six football fields that's eusocial, meaning there's workers, soldiers, and a queen. The queen will fight her way to the top to create dominance. Once taking over, she releases a chemical that prevents all other females from going through puberty. All mm. the animals in the colony have giant independent teeth that can move like chopsticks. They have the least sensitive pain receptors in the animal kingdom. They can live up for th- up to 30 years. They're immune to cancer, and they can survive with less than 5% oxygen. What are you thinking? What kind of creature? Are we thinking mammal? Are we thinking insect? Are we thinking arachnid? Where, where are we thinking uh, fish, salamander? Cryptid. Where are we at? I'm thinking cryptid. This is this is like <laughs> Bigfoot I'm sticking, or something. I'm sticking with naked mole rat. Okay, Peter, where I, are you at? I, I honestly believe you just made this up. So that's fair. <laughs> well, let me tell you this: not only are all these other insane things happening within this creature, this creature is a cold-blooded mammal. <laughs> Yeah, it Jesus. is almost as alien, Ritep, as your octopus. This mm. insane creature like that it. has all those features that I've listed yes. is indeed the naked yes. mole rat, Papa Patrick. Wow! Oh, how did you years. know? What did you? What did, how so did you know? It was it was it is. Is. beautiful. You, you talked about the independent beautiful. teeth. Mm-hmm. And I knew they had tiny eyes, but it, it was the teeth is the only thing that would have gotten me onto it. I probably would have st- stuck with insect. Look so, at that WT, thing. you kind of made a mistake. That was the picture from uh, Ritep in the shower. That was that the shower. Could you, pull you up a, a could you pull up a naked mole rat, please? <laughs> let, me, let me ask you a question here. Yeah. Now, when God was creating the world 2,000 years ago, or whatever the fuck that story is. 2020. Do you, th- <laughs> do you think he was like, all right, uh, I'm going to make this the most, like, capable animal out there that could survive in a pit in the pits of hell but it will simultaneously have to be the ugliest fucking thing you've ever looked <laughs> it's at. it's a trade-off it is a yeah. trade-off for sure I, yeah. it's worse than the blobfish dude it's got a pig nose with the chopstick teeth the nipples are hanging out it, it, they're on bananas. the sides yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a real wild looking thing man i mean a, literally the blobfish is like young cindy crawford compared to this thing <laughs> This thing is a disaster, but so much more equipped for survival than any of us based on everything you just said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know the battle royale we always play? Like, we should always just pull one feature from the naked mole rat. There's, like, a (laughs) list of 12 features. It's like, oh, you have gorilla arms? Well, I can't get cancer, so keep that in mind. (laughs) Well, that is cool. I just learned a lot about this naked mole rat. And by the way, I mean, let's just say you were digging up, like, you wanted to put a pool in your backyard and you dug down and found 300 of these things. You'd have to burn your whole house down. You would. Yeah, you'd move. Yeah, you <laughs> fill the hole back in. Fill it back in. Yeah, we reach yeah. hell. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of them, man. There'd be nothing you could do. The fucking queen uh, is like oh, a, a good one. Pro- professional UFC fighter. She's fought her way to the top and then somehow poisoned all the females so they can't go through puberty. And uh, do you think when they fight, that, do they fight till death, do you think? Or is it more similar to other animals where one just gives up? I have to imagine with limited pain receptors, it's a fight very close to death. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah, God, look at the, the fact that those teeth can move independently. Right? It's yeah, they're an insane disgusting. creature. And guys, this is one of my favorite segments. I think we got to do it more as a weekly. We got to yep. do it more maybe in the podcast, whatever it is. But yeah. if, uh, if you guys like it, you Brosners listening at home, give us a like, give us a subscription, however that works. And uh, <laughs> we'll, do some more, uh, we'll do some more bizarre animal of the week. Because I'm actually learning a lot as I research them to do them. It's a lot of fun. It Tell is. Tell a friend. Love you. We love you guys.